What's up everyone? Thanks again for joining me this week. A couple weeks back I got a great question uh, from one of the attendees of my JSON session at SQL Saturday Rochester. Nam basically wants to create an index on his JSON data column without necessarily including every single row in the index. He wants to create a filtered index on that data where only some of the rows get indexed. And at first I thought this would be a simple, simple question to answer, but when I actually tried it, I found a few interesting things about indexing conditionally uh, when dealing with JSON data in computed columns. So let me show you what I found using this example. Let's say I have a burrito ordering app and all of my warning and error messages I log to this table called burrito app log. It's a pretty basic table. It's got an identity ID column and a JSON column with all of the error details in it. Now the thing to notice is that inside that JSON data there's a type property for every single row regardless if it's a warning or error and that's actually what that type property identifies whether the row is a warning or an error. And so in our table there are way more warnings than errors but I want to create a report that only shows those errors. Basically that means I want to create a filtered index where type equals error. So the way we're going to do that is by creating a computed column. It's non-persisted, which means SQL Server will have to calculate it every time. But if you look back to the other videos I've done on indexing JSON data, you'll remember that even if a column is non-persisted, it does actually get persisted in the non-clustered index that we create on it. So I figured that should work the same for a filtered index, right? Now if we create a regular non-clustered index on that non-persisted computed column, uh, the index works, but we're not really accomplishing what Nam was asking about. Instead of just a regular non-clustered index, we want to create a filtered non-clustered index because we really only care about writing queries against those error rows. So why bother storing all of those warning uh, properties in our index? So if we try to create a filtered index on our non-persistent computed column, you'll see SQL Server gives us an error message saying we can't have computed columns in our filtered you know, where predicate. And so I thought, huh, that's kind of weird. Maybe if I make the computed column persisted, SQL Server will allow me to create the filtered index on it. So easy enough to do, we'll create a persisted computed column and try to create our filtered index again, but we still get the same error. SQL Server doesn't really care if that computed column is persisted or not. We can't put it into the where clause of our filtered index. So the problem here isn't that we're using JSON data. This is actually just a problem with computed columns and filtered indexes. Aaron Bertrand actually wrote a great post about all the limitations about filtered indexes, which I've linked to in the description below. But basically one of those limitations, which has had a connect item open forever, and now it's a user voice item, I guess, um, about being able to add computed columns to the predicates of filtered indexes. So basically as of today, May 1st, 2018, you can't do what we are trying to do here, at least not directly through the computed column. What we have to do instead is change our table design so that error type column is on the actual table itself, right? It's not a computed column, but on inserts to our table, we have to parse that JSON and actually insert it as its own column value. So with our permanent table column there, now populated with all those different error types or error versus warning types, we're able to create a filtered index, no complaints from SQL Server, and everything's fine. If we dig into this a little further, right, the benefit of using that filtered index, at least from a size storage standpoint, right, is really clear. This table only has a few thousand records, but as you can see, that filtered index contains way less data in it because only two and a half percent of the table is error records um, compared to our non-clustered index on that entire error column, right? So huge difference, it makes sense to use a filtered index in this case. Uh, it's just that we have to be very particular about how we set up our table with this JSON data in order to be able to use it. So if you're gonna use JSON data and you think you're gonna use a filtered index, just kind of be aware of that, that you can't use that computed column in, in the where predicate of your filtered index. Uh, it's something, right, not really specific to JSON, but it's not something I've ever really had to think about before because I don't use computed columns too much except for when dealing with JSON data. So it was new to me. Hopefully, if it's new to you, you got something out of it. So thanks again for watching this week. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.